There we go. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a jumper. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, he took the coronavid. Nice. Oh, yeah. My nice fish. God, you're so pretty. Look how pretty this fish is. Right in the nose. Wow. Hey, buddy. Sweet. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Winter fishing. You got to love it. I'm up here at Coldwater Lake. You know what's really crazy about this lake? This lake was formed by the eruption of Mount St. Helens. The whole side of the mountain came down and blocked Coldwater Creek and created this natural reservoir. In 1983, Fish and Wildlife stocked it, and ever since, it's been self-sustaining. It's pretty incredible fishery, as you can see. The one thing that I love most about fishing in the winter is that I'm, I'm the only one here. I mean, I had the first tracks going into the parking lot and down to the launch. There's nobody else here. And I don't think, based on how cold it is, it's uh, below 30, that we'll have too many people fishing today. But that's the beauty of this lake. It's open year round. It's not fly fishing only, but it's artificial lures and fly fishing. I fly fish, of course. But I've seen a few people spin cast before with lures. But it's cold. It's really cold. I thought I was the only person here. <laughs> wow, mine must be playing tricks on me. Anyway, let's go fishing. I brought my little buddy heater. I don't usually bring this, but uh, it is cold enough to where I need to make sure my hands stay warm. Because if your hands don't work, that's when fishing gets really tough. What? What is that? Man, clearly it's cold. All right, let's go do this. Fish on. All right, let's go fishing. Fish on. So let's take a look and see what I'm fishing today. I've got three rods with me. I've got my Sage 4 weight TCR, and I've got kind of a river set up here. You can see I've got kind of a, a pheasant tail nymph, a big squala, and an indicator that's probably about four feet off the main fly. And if you stick around, I'm gonna show you why I have a river set up in the lake. We got some pretty cool things to fish. The next rod I have is my five weight. And as you can see here, I have a big old woolly bugger. This, uh, this can be a really effective fly in the winter time. So I'll probably be using this a ton today. And my other rod here, I haven't used this in a while. It's my Sage VT2. I got a little uh, three weight reel on it from Lamson. It's a great little rod. It is a three weight rod. All right, let's do this. I'm starting with the bugger. Fish on. So the wind's got me a little nervous. It wasn't supposed to be windy today. Forecast was like uh, calm winds, no more than five miles an hour. And man, it was howling this morning, super windy. So I'm gonna stay in this little protective cove and fish the bugger. 
I'm feeling like something's gonna happen quick. Windy at all. Ugh. Man, that wind is not kind. I got myself uh, positioned behind the lever side of this little island here, and I'm gonna do a little streamer fishing in some protected waters, because uh, that's not fun out there. Come on, fish. Pretty cool, a couple of lake otters curious to what I'm doing. You don't often see those guys around. It's pretty cool they're making a visit. <laughs> they're wondering, who the heck is that tall guy standing on the island? Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a little bit of change up here. When I let the line sit for a long time, the fish seem to grab the fly. So I'm gonna put on this 12 foot sink tip. It's a really fast sinking, uh, sinking tip. So I'm gonna take my leader off. And I'm going to put that on and so I can get down deep for the trout. All right, let's do this. Sean. There we go. Oh, it was a good change up. Nice. Come on, little guy. Little fish. They definitely get bigger here in cold water, but you know what? I am not going to complain. Sweet. Nice. The skunk is off and that's what it matters. Oh, there we go. Fish on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. I mean, this this is a squala nymph, right? It's not supposed to be fish like a woolly bugger, but it always works. Nice little rainbow. Sweet. Nice little rainbow. Pretty colors. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Sweet. So something kind of cool. See that visitor center way up there? That's Coldwater Visitor Center. My dad and I were one of the first people to fish this lake back in 95 when it was permit only. He was able to score 12 permits to come down and fish Coldwater Lake and just experience this magical place before anyone else had to. It was pretty cool. I always remember that. It's been, and I've been fishing it every year since. It was pretty cool to be the first one to fish this fishery before anyone else got to. So it was pretty cool. All right, let's do this. Fish on. All right, so I got out the, uh, I got out the river rod, I like to call it. I got an indicator on, big squalid nymph, and a great big pheasant tail. And the reason why I've had success fishing this type of setup here is that the, uh, the outlet to Coldwater Lake is just right over there. So there's, there's real slow moving current in here that kind of pushes out towards where the, uh, the lake drains out. So I've had a lot of luck with fishing these type of setups. Oh, camera wasn't running. Fish on! <laughs> it worked! See? That's why I bring the river setup with me. Because it works. It's fantastic. I thought, I thought, oh, long release. Ah. Well, that's good news though. It's working. Well, my friends, it was time. It was time to go to my secret cove where I'm completely protected from the wind. Light up a cigar and just enjoy the quiet for a moment. <laughs> the wind has not died down at all. Pretty crazy, but you know what? Caught three fish so far and that's a good thing. So I'm just going to kind of chill over here in this nice wonderfully protected lagoon little cove and enjoy my cigar and then I'll get the line out again all right let's do this fish on oh yeah there we go fish on oh uh, I turned the motor off nice switched over to a little yummy yellow Started casting it at the bank and got me a trout. Nice little trout. There it is. Thank you very much. All right. So 
what's so cool about this lake is all of these were once old growth trees. And when the mountain erupted, it just knocked them over like toothpicks. It's really quite unbelievable. And these ghosts of the old growth are what remains of these majestic forests that once would line the banks of Coldwater Creek, which is now Coldwater Lake. Pretty incredible. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for joining me on today's fishing adventure. It started out cold, stayed pretty cold, but what a gorgeous lake. I mean, there really isn't any place on the planet like this. I mean, it's so unique and such great fishing. So, good day all in all. Thank you so much for joining me <laughs> and fish on! Yeah, I was trolling. I was headed back to the launch, you know. You always have to have the line in the water, otherwise you're not going to catch fish. Oh, there we go, long release. All right, guys, fish on. <laughs>